All right. So, I wrote this big old script for this video. I spent like an hour and a half writing this script, and I'm not gonna use it. Cause man, I hate reading a script. I do wanna give you a disclaimer from the script before this video starts. And it says, before this video starts, I just wanna say this is supposed to start you thinking about it in your own way. This is just the beginning of like me bringing it up and then you have to go and take it in your own way. Does that make sense? This is just supposed to get your mind working on it. Cause you and me probably don't think the same way. So, um, this video is about expectations and how they control your reality. So we got three types of expectations here. We have number one, we have passive background expectations that are short term. This is like um, you going out to the mall, you're supposed to wear nice clothes, you're supposed to, or go to church, you're supposed to wear nice clothes. You hanging out with a specific friend group for a couple hours, you're supposed to act a certain way, right? You're gonna act different with your druggy friend group than you are with your church friend group or something like that. I don't know, I don't really go to church that much. Then you have your long-term passive expectations. This is like keeping your room clean. This is like um, what your family expects of you, of you to become like a lawyer or something. This is constant background pressure over years. Okay, cool. Then we have active, active expectations. These are the ones you set. This is like you're going to go sneak out with your girlfriend in the middle of the night and you set the expectations that you're going to go boating on the on the lake in the middle of the night and you're going to do this and you're going to do that and you're going to do that. These are the ones that you guys talk about and you guys set. Let's say you're going to the monster truck show, right? Monster Jam, whatever. That's the expectations. Now, if you go there and they're out of tickets and you can't get in, you're going to be disappointed because you set those expectations at that level. So that's what this is all about. It's setting your expectations at a certain level. And if you exceed those, you're going to be happier about it. And if you don't, if, if you don't succeed with those, you're going to be sad. Now, another point of this is disappointment, social pressure, and feeling overwhelmed. Because I feel like a lot of the time people feel overwhelmed because of the social pressure of expectations. So let's talk about passive long-term expectations. There's another element to this that isn't just with your family or keeping your room clean and stuff like that. And that is social, like, like big time. I'm talking on the freeway, you're expected to drive 75 miles an hour, not 75. You're expected to drive at least the speed limit, at least the speed limit, right? You're supposed to go slow in the slow lane, faster in the fast lane, HOB, two cars. I mean, that's the law. But this is also what is expected of you. If you're going 45 on the freeway, you're going to get, everyone's going to hate you. Everyone is going to hate you. So that is like the social pressures. Or if you're walking down the street like a fucking flamingo, everyone's going to think you're a psychopath, right? Cool. So we have that. That is the background. That is the basis. And then on top of that, the next layer is the ones I talked about of passive long term. This is in the back of your mind all the time. This is not pertaining to any specific situation. This is just in the back. This is like with your family. This is like with your friends. Maybe you're having issues with your girlfriend because neither of you are satisfied in the relationship, but it's over time, a long time. That's that one. Then you have the passive short-term ones. On top of that, another layer of like what you're actually doing, what you're actually hanging out. And then another layer of what you're actively choosing to have your expectations set as. So all of this together can make people very overwhelmed. And this is what I see a ton. This is where burnout comes from. I think expectations literally can tr contribute and control everything in your life. That's why I made this video. Cause the more I thought about it, the, the bigger I thought it was. So the active ones, like let's say you go to Starbucks and you're like, um, you go there, you expect a good coffee, you're paying money for it. You expect your drink to be good. Now, when it's not good, it's sad because you had the buildup of driving there, the buildup of getting that money, whether it was given to you or whether you worked a job to get it. So that's, that's like, that's a lot just for a coffee. Like there's a lot of emotional buildup. And I see that a lot. Having worked at Starbucks, people get very sad when their coffee's wrong. I do too, because that's your expectation. And that's a very baseline expectation because it's like, well, you're not really expecting it. That's just supposed to be a given is that it's supposed to be good. And that's what really makes you sad. Like I said, I'm not going to give the answers to this because I don't know the answers. It's supposed to make you think about it. So then in your love life, there is huge amounts of expectations for these things. So like, let's say, um, let's say you have a ton of expectations, like I was saying earlier, like rafting, all that stuff. I don't know. That is going to make you, um, 
very nervous leading up to it, right? So it's gonna cause pressure there. Then when you're hanging out, it's gonna cause pressure because if you don't meet those expectations, you're gonna feel like you didn't do it all. And you're gonna feel like you failed and it's gonna leave it feeling like it was a bad hangout, bad meetup, whatever. Then if you set your expectations with nothing, absolutely nothing, then you're gonna feel nervous going up to it because you're gonna be like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to wear. What are we gonna do? That could also be bad. So there's like this fine line. There's like, this is bad expectations. This is no expectations. And this is tons of expectations. And you can see right here where they meet, right there where that line is for me, usually wearing a ring right there. That is where you wanna be, is right in the middle. Now, I see a lot of people on like Instagram or like TikTok and they'll just be like going with the flow type of people. You know what I'm saying? Where they're like, there's no expectations, just live your life and just have fun. Now that is different. And the reason that is different is because a lot of people will try to do that and they'll fail and it'll feel terrible because they'll do what I just said. They won't have any expectations actively, like when they're going to hang out and they'll say, okay, this, this is terrible. The people that are doing that have let go of their expectations on every level and it's not letting go of them it's accepting them and saying i'm not gonna let that bother me going 45 on the freeway instead of getting stressed out about that it's saying whenever like going 45 when everyone else is going like 75 it's like instead of getting stressed out about it they just accept it and they say cool man i'm pulling a trailer i'm going 45 right cool so that is one of the key elements is you have to balance all of these at the same time and that's hard dude that is so hard to do, but that's literally just what you have to do. Because if, um, and one of the most dangerous situations is when you have really high expectations on one and really low on the other. So let's say you have really low um, short-term passive expectations. That's like, um, like going to the mall, you're supposed to wear nice clothes, stuff like that. We'll use that example. Let's say you have really low expectations for that. So let's say you're, instead of going to the mall and wearing like the, your best fit, let's say you go and you wear like um, some gym shorts and like, I don't know, like a raggedy t-shirt. Not hanging on those people, but let's say you wear that. But then, so your passive short-term expectations are low, low, way down here. And then let's say your social active expectations are way up here. Where we're gonna go to all these stores, we're gonna do all this stuff, we're gonna, do all this we're gonna do photo shoots we're gonna look great we're gonna show off man that doesn't work because you're wearing garbage clothes and then you want to do all of this and be so cool so you have to you have to average them you have to say okay i'm gonna wear pretty decent clothes and instead of doing all this stuff we're just gonna go around the mall and have a fun time and that's what it's about because once those are balanced then you're good and then if you're long-term expectations of like the background stuff that's in the back of your mind all the time of like uh i don't know family stuff like that i keep using the same examples here stuff like that if that's too high like your short-term expectations and your um active expectations are perfectly balanced but your long-term ones that are in the back of your mind stressing you out are too high then you're still gonna have a bad time because you're just gonna be stressed out about all this other stuff the whole time and the reason, the way to fix all of this is number one, don't have too high, don't have too low expectations. But the other thing is, is to accept them and move on because you're always gonna have some sort of expectations. Everyone's gonna, everyone you're ever gonna meet is gonna have expectations of you. You're gonna have expectations. These are the passive ones that you don't actively set. Maybe you're gonna have active expectations. If you're meeting the president of the United States, you're actively gonna set expectations. You're gonna be like, this guy better be dope. This is a big thing. I'm probably not gonna get to do this again. This is insane, right? So you have to balance these, dude. And you have, like I keep saying, you have to accept them and you have to say, all right, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna realize it's stressing me out. I'm gonna realize it's stressing me out is not helping me. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna let it go. Now, letting it go does not mean you just forget about it and you give up and you wear the gym shorts and the raggedy t-shirt. It means that you say, I understand there's this social pressure. I understand there's this stress. I can't do anything about it currently and I'm gonna let it go. Dude, I'm telling you, this expectation thing relates to everything because it's like in everything, in your friendships, in your love life, long-term, short-term, that's what I'm saying. I made this video just to talk about that and be like, hey, look at this and reflect on this when you're going into a situation. 
Because whenever I go into a situation, I look at it and I say, okay, I'm hanging out with these cool people or these really lame people. And I set my expectations for that and how much I'm going to try and how much I'm going to put into that. Because a lot of people's social batteries get absolutely used up because their expectations are either low and then they're having to rise up and now they're feeling exhausted at the end or they're really high and then it's really boring because nothing's happening and it feels like garbage. Do you understand? That's what I'm saying. That's a large part of like social battery, disappointment, and especially happiness. I haven't even talked about happiness yet. A large, 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 large part of your happiness comes from your expectations. If you, if, like I said, it's not about setting them high or low. I mean, it is, you want them balanced, but if you, if you take the ones that are bad and you just set them aside and accept them, then you're just going to be happier because then you can actually enjoy the moment. And that's something I really struggle with. Like I said, I don't have the answers here, bro. If I did, I want to be making this video how I am. I would just be telling you the answers. So yeah, um, that's where a large part of happiness comes from is because you have to take all the stressful stuff and you have to say, all right, cool. And then you have to be in the moment and enjoy in the moment, which is something I really can't do. Like whenever I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm always thinking about, oh, when I get home, I got to do this. And when I got this or this or this, or I'm leaving to the Air Force on Monday and today's Friday. Oh my God. Holy shit. No, bro. Just chillax, dude. Like you can't help that stuff. So there's no reason worrying about it. And I know saying that's like cliche, like, oh, I'll just stop worrying about it then. Thanks, Leo. You really helped. Bro, that's literally what you do. <laughs> like, no magical genius are going to come along and be like, all right, stop worrying about it now. Now you're fixed. It's you. Your life is on you. You have to set these things in your life. And it sounds like a lot of work, and it is a lot of work. It sucks. But it's just what you have to do to be able to be happy. It's like the maintenance. It's like you can never, if you never clean your room, your room's always going to be messy, and your floor's just going to slowly pile up with more and more dirt. If I've never swept this floor... I mean, I've only lived here a few months, but if I had always lived here and I never slept before, there'd be like that much dirt on the floor, man. It'd be piled up in the corners. Like you have to do maintenance, just like you do maintenance on a house because it gets worn down. Just like you have to clean your room occasionally or fix your car when it gets broke down. That's what you have to do with yourself. And you have to check yourself a lot because sometimes your expectations will change over time because they're always changing and then you won't even realize it. Anyway, that's it. I was expecting this video to be like five minutes, but I started ranting. This is why I didn't go on the script, because if I went on the script, it would have been like two minutes. Let's see if I missed anything. Um... No, that's it. That's pretty much it. I don't know. I thought I would make this video. I've been meaning to make it for like a couple months now, and I haven't been making it. But I hope, I hope it turns out. I hope you learned something from it. I hope... Um, I hope it benefits you in some way. I hope, I don't know. It's up to you. It's literally up to you. You could watch this video and just be like, dang, this kid's wearing a Homer hoodie that's purple. Like I said, what's your expectation of it? If your expectation was high, you're probably not going to enjoy the video. If it's low, you're probably not going to enjoy the video. You got to have realistic expectations. That's what balanced is, is it's realistic. Cool. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye.